looking at you, it was clear that obviously you've got the academic background as well as the experience. Looking at you, it was clear that obviously you've got the academic background as well as the experience side of things. Um, and yeah, you know, there's obviously you don't need to go to school to then do development. You, you can just do a course like yours, but it, it kind of, I guess, puts you in a different place and space. I, coming from where I come from as a professional, like I like to learn yeah, yeah. the theoretical, the technical, and then also the practical and do it on, on the ground. So it just felt like I could get both. Uh, yeah, what what about the actual decision though? Like what was the motive? Because there's plenty of people like, oh yeah, you've got the results, but you know, I, I'm i not Adam, I'm not an engineer or, you know, I'm not to wonder, I'm not a software designer. And we've got people from all, you know, different walks of life and all the rest of it. But what, what was the driver? Like what's, what's been the initially the instigator, but then, you know, what's the motivation? Cause I think that's the key is if you've got the motivation, you'll do it. doesn't matter whether you've got zero skills or you've got a million skills. That's a tough question to answer. I don't think I've stopped and thought about it, but yeah, definitely, you know, ramping down what I do as a career, because that activity can only, you can only produce so much in terms of results um, yeah. and, and getting back some of that you know freedom of time i think you said it before like retire both you and your oh yeah yeah your absolutely. partner absolutely so that's for both of us 100 percent, 100 percent. okay so would you so just if somebody else is watching and they're like oh cool i can retire my partner if i do one development are you would you say absolutely go for it you know jump in what have you got to lose is that, that kind of your mentality i know you're very calculated and analytical and so am i but <laughs> Yeah, it's funny. Sometimes I'm I'm, I'm uh, off the cuff, and a lot of the times I'm, I take my time thinking about it. But yeah, I I thought about obviously how I'd bridge the gap, so the time in between actually getting the results of my first deal. Yeah. Uh, but knowing knowing that yeah, if I get to that end point, definitely it'll be worth it. Um. So yeah, obviously everyone's different, but yeah, the I can see that that light of the tunnel that like the results are definitely like. Yeah, it's, it's not like get rich tomorrow. You're going to make a hundred grand in your first month. <laughs> you got to have realistic expectations, but yeah, that the, you can see that the results are there at the end. So, um, I'm one of those people that also invested in other things, so like crypto and what have you. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> how does that go for? Uh, how did that go versus property? In two ways. So I, I jumped the early bandwagon that you know it was 300 bucks a pop for. A oh point. wow! Okay, okay. Yeah. So you did well out of crypto that one uh well i don't know i don't want to say that live on <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll, cut, we'll snip that bit but, but the second okay. the second wave obviously had waves of emotion because you know everyone's jumping in you know high numbers tops being hit yeah. and then it just reverses the other way whereas with property and being active in development there isn't such huge swings and yeah. you still control uh, i guess in terms of the outcomes you can have yes there's challenges like inflation and building builders you know costs yeah. going up but yeah it's what they I, I think i think the biggest one is people will always have confidence in property and Correct. well located property Correct. i'm not talking about property in the middle of australia or in a mining town that fluctuates like bitcoin um and may go it may drop to zero at some point but i think from what i have seen people that are invested in different things is most people have uh the majority of their wealth in property I guess when you see the power of the the, the, the asset kind of making money over time, uh, it kind of, yeah, it changes your thinking. What, 
what's been the difference pre-course to now doing the course and having a different lens looking at properties? Oh man, I think my perception on opportunities has definitely changed. So I don't know thought I'd find something you can do that much effort work in and get such a return <laughs> on the activity yeah. uh, to kind of make that same amount of money out of been thinking I have to work over time, extra hours. Um, so that's probably the biggest difference in now how I look at money in that perspective uh, and how to, uh, I guess, generate it and what it could do for us, I guess, as a family. So yeah, that that one deal could have retired me and my partner if effectively or made more than what we can make in a couple of years. So yeah, yeah, yeah awesome. It is an eye opener for sure. Yeah, like creating the money, not earning it, creating the wealth. Correct. Probably yeah. also not not waiting for the market to do that is what we were doing before. So yeah, we just have the one house, let the market push it up in value type of thing. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good. Okay. Now, I know you're in the accumulator as well. Um, and we were just talking about, and I know you haven't completed the accumulator, so I won't ask you specifically about it. Um, but even just talking about retaining properties. So for those people that are looking at doing development as an active strategy, you've also got the passive hold strategy. Again, I know you were talking about selling one of your properties to then be able to afford another one. The difference for you, like, I mean, if you could hold property long-term versus having to sell it, like, how has that changed your perception of investing just generally or creating wealth long term i think the yeah i think selling was i'd always have to put back in the work to to kind of make the next amount of money um but i guess when you see the power of the the the, the asset kind of making money over time uh it kind of yeah it changes your thinking it's like i was telling my partner it's like having a fruit tree you plant it once <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you just come back and expect the fruits to be on the tree or like you know some fruit to be on the tree uh, yeah versus selling it to somebody else who gets the fruit yeah so you only get it the first year if you sell it you get the fruit the first year and then that, that's it you're done and walk away mm -hmm.